Welcome to the jungle. I mean junkyard. Today we had to come to the junkyard. We need some parts for my friend Jared's C20. And we found this 74 C10 in here. Um, yeah, this C10 is too good, right? It is amazing to me how scarce these things are getting. We've combed this whole yard. It's the big yard of Pick and Save in Lynchburg. I cannot believe that there's only one of these in here. There's also a blazer. I remember when these things just littered the landscape. But uh, times have changed. And we found a few parts we can use. We're going to introduce Jared's truck on a future video. But today we're going to grab some parts. And thought you guys might want to come along. So, looking at the cab here. It seems like... Uh your own homemade hayride oh, in the yeah. cab here. What do we have in here? Let's do the treasure hunt. Okay, so uh, without my tetanus shot, we're getting a little frisky here. We got some got some Marlboro lights. Nah, denied. Just one. Okay, well, castrol. A right? couple quarts of castrol. Uh, bait hookers. Oh, nice. That's actually an unopened box of little hooks. Not bad. Score. There's about two dollars worth of pennies in the toolbox in the back. Um, you know, without even, without getting underneath the hay bale, we don't really know what's, there's an air filter, an umbrella, coat hanger, you know, miscellaneous goodies that you find in junkyards, right, you know. come you, on, the viewers want to know, move the hay bale, let's see what's in here. <laughs> okay, I mean, bench press. Just push oh, it over there. Hold on. <laughs> We've got a, uh, <laughs> we don't know who it is, there's no case for it, some kind of cassette tape. Don't know if it's a if music on it or what. All right, guys, tell us in the comments what you think that cassette tape is. Yeah, Waylon, I'm guessing it's either uh, Televangelism or Waylon Jennings. Waylon Jennings' greatest hits. That's my guess. Oh, nice. I was thinking it'd be a copperhead over here or something. <laughs> uh, Sprite bottle. You know, you got hornet's nest. We got stop leak, of course. I don't know what's in this trash bag, but uh, looks like all the empty cash. Oh, wait a minute. Bottles. What is that? What is that? Got? Is that the starter button? Where's that? I believe on the dash. It looks like a horn button. Well, there's no battery. Well, I know that much, but no, it's got, I mean, that's like a horn button that's in my hand. So. All right. It was last inspected in the year 1000. Yes. <laughs> uh, so you got your paint, you got your windshield scraper. Right. Uh, moving to the back here. We got a brake drum, a styrofoam plate, yeah. a drive shaft. Hey Jared, What's up? I'll dare you three dollars to put that sock on your foot. <laughs> Not <in> your life. <laughs> Upon further inspection of the toolbox, you got a bunch of got a distributor cap. Distributor cap looks like oh gosh, some kind of power tool, battery, some cracker packages. That looks like a little bottle pressure tubing. That nylon could be little, little bottle jack. Bottle jack, some some uh, weed whacker line. Oh look, an unopened Gatorade, probably from 1993. Older than I am. Oh, and of course, Grizzly that was the brand. Oh yeah. Oh wait, yeah. To this day. Oh, okay. <laughs> this door You've panel. Got your... This door panel just looks like marble that's <laughs> decayed. <today. laughs> you know, your floor pans are shot like every yeah. truck of this generation. The rocker. Actually, the rocker itself is in not no, the terrible rocker, shape. The rocker looks better than yours. It's more so the floor. I wonder what this bottom of the door looks like. Comparatively speaking, that's actually not a bad door. Rust wise. You you might be wise to snag um, those pedals if you ever want to do a manual transmission conversion in yours. Well of course you know the same kind of oh, popular geez. rust spots. That is not well. Pepsi. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get out from under here and get some parts off, what do you think? Yeah, got this nice look at this appears to be an aftermarket bumper that we're gonna take off of with this whole front clip. I don't know the bumper the bumper may be factory it just the hardware makes me think it's been changed but that's what we're here for we're here for the bumper we're here for that little piece of the uh, body above the bumper we're here for the radiator support uh, we would get the fenders but they're trashed yeah somebody snagged the grill out of it we were excited about the grill on the yeah. on the, uh, the ad on the line had the nice 74 grill that i like but that's been Nab, so. Who would have ever thought these things would have been hard to find parts for? It's, Probably the, the radiator that was in it. It was a complete truck when it came in. Well, we're, we're gonna get to work, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna get to wrench and get this thing apart, and uh, 
Anyway, hope you guys enjoy. We survived our trip to the junkyard. I don't think I caught anything from that truck over there. No. I'm not sure. I'm, if I break out with a rash, I guess I'll know. But we got the radiator support and the bumper. We got most of what we went for. We may have to do another trip, but uh, it's gonna make this truck a lot more complete. This is Jared. You've seen him in some of my videos. He was in, uh, I think, the Dark Sports Sandblasting video, the Chevelle feature, maybe some other stuff. But uh, we're going to be working on this truck, doing some stuff, making it run and drive here pretty soon. You guys will get to see that on the channel. But I'm going to let Jared tell you about the truck. Hey, everybody. My name's Jared. This is my 78 C20. Um, uh, without getting into too much detail, a little bit of the background on this thing. Uh, I paid $400 for it uh, from a sign company I used to work for in Roanoke, Virginia. The owners were changing hands, and uh, this thing had sat in under a little shed for since 2003 when it was last uh, inspected and you know I got a wild hair one day and offered offered the owner of the shop 400 bucks and I went away with a truck a few months later um, most of a truck most of a truck yeah so we'll get into a little bit of the history the story about everything about it but uh, yeah that about sums it up for, for now yeah I'll, I'll put in some pictures so you guys can see what it looked like back in the 70s and 80s but for now we'll do a walk around of the truck and uh, it, it really doesn't look bad. It's it sat underneath of a roof. And, you know, correct me if I'm wrong on any of this, Jared, but this engine, I think, was out of a Caprice. Yeah. Something like that. A That's 70 the story Caprice. I got. Yeah. And we it kind of came with two distributors. Uh, we drained about a gallon of water out of this. And we'll insert a little bit of that video here. Right. The, um, <laughs> the water. The water. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, it's probably gonna miss the pan. Who oh. cares? It's water. Oh, dude! Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's. Ah! <laughs> you see this? Yeah, it was a mess in there, and the distributor rusted inside. But we can rebuild it. We may. We may not. I don't know. But the truck looks pretty good. Doesn't have much rust. It's uh, TH four hundred. Still has the graphics from the sign company, which are really cool. Uh, even if we elect to paint the truck, we will clear and keep those. Those are hand painted. Toolboxes. Yeah, got the toolboxes. Miscellaneous sign components, rope, <laughs> crackers. Yeah. So at the junkyard today, these bolts, they said that the hardware, they want $1.25 per bolt at the junkyard. Yeah. So. Cool old spark plug. This is worth more than a truck, I guess. Yeah, you got to set plugs for it. Rebar, I can set some concrete. Oh, yeah. Bush's baked beans. It's just an empty can. <laughs> somebody's lunch in but the boxes, Yeah, the boxes will stay. Still has its tailgate. Still has the tags on it from when they had it. Back bumper is reasonably straight. Needs mm -hmm. tail lights. We need to get that. I don't know where we're gonna find them yet, but they shouldn't be hard to find. Of course, the look, hood and the bumper. Look at this. You got algae yeah. growing on the bed. Oh, it's nasty. Yeah, we have the hood. Got to go to the car wash. The matching hood is still here, and I'm glad. I wish we had fenders that matched it, because that's a bummer. It's not bent here like a lot of them get after so many years. Yeah, that's a weak spot on these hoods. Yeah. It was, something must have been dropped on it at one time because the front of the bed here is bent up into the cab. I don't really know what that's about. I know that um, I've seen places that work on equipment and the stuff will slide up and hit sure. it. Yeah. So that could be from that. Got a little rust in the rocker, but yeah. I mean the cab is solid. Let's show them inside. Of it. Yeah. Got a bunch of stuff with it inside now, but. I like always... the yellow interior. That is hot. Continental yellow. I think it's really good. A few extra parts. Columns there. I couldn't remember the wheel. The instrument panel's missing, but the wheel's mm -hmm. here. 
There is no seat yet. Glass is good in it. Yep. Windows still work. Got the big trailer towing mirrors. Those tires still hold air, don't they? Oh gosh, yeah, they've held air <laughs> since we brought it here. <laughs> Those tires actually might be roadworthy. The tread's good, but they, I, yeah. you know, you never know, they might actually work. I'll take it down if I had to. The dash pad, I give that, what, about a grade of a A minus, B plus? Six. Something like that. <laughs> the wheel covers are on this side. They're missing from the passenger side, but we'll find them. I just think it's cool that the body is still here and it's pretty serviceable like it is. We'll keep the patina and everything and yep. put this thing back together and make it run. I'm hoping it'll make a good tow vehicle. So, so there it is. That's what we're starting with. Uh, this truck is just like uh, he bought it from the sign shop. We rolled it off the trailer right where it sits. The only thing we've done is we did uh, try to turn this engine to see if it would turn. It would not. Uh, we pulled the heads and number five is completely full of rust. Uh, you know, water obviously got down the carburetor and the valves that were closed, and anything that was closed were lucky and the ones that were open were not. So we're still deciding if we want to rebuild this engine or if we want to start with something else. You guys can let us know in the comments. But um, anyway, it's gonna be a fun project. Thanks for watching. Okay, now I need to be vaccinated. <laughs> Not for COVID, for syphilis. But you got it in there, right? It's in there. All right. So people will see you, right? People I'm, will. I'm, yes. I'm going to pretend like it's not even there. Okay. Got a new bumper. Um, pretty, pretty good overall um, trip to the... I don't like that. I was stumbling all over <laughs> my... Hey everybody, my name is Jared. Uh, you haven't seen much of me or- <laughs> Why am I trying to fancy it up? <laughs> you better be fast. Yeah. It's faster than you at uh, in, uh, Hickory. Whatever. I got the videos to prove it. <laughs> okay. You have to go find the one exception to the rule. You, you have to, yeah, uh, you, you, why don't you frame that needle from your haystack there, kid? I will. Right. How do we do in that match we shot in Roanoke got EPA? Yeah, that wasn't was, too good, that was, it? How was, what were the placings on that again? Naturally aspirated, I call it. <laughs> uh, the blooper reel is going to be longer than the video at this point. You know that, right? I know it.